speaker. Oh my God, I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to hear from him. Are you, uh, okay, so oh, he's actually, no, before getting in. Uh, Mohammed Habil, uh, like uh, 12 years old, like one of the most brilliant kids and a very unique motivational speaker. One of the kids uh, who started change making by speaking out and using, just, just by using his fluency in English as a tool of change making. Uh, he did, I think it was like um, motivating people, uh, making sure that everyone is staying positive, which is which kind of we are going to talk today. So, um, Mohammed, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I am doing great. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, uh, yeah, I can hear you guys. Thank you guys so much for inviting me, by the way. This is amazing to see so many people from the same country, <laughs> Algeria. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm Mohamed Yunus Habil. I'm from Amsila and uh, from Algeria. This is basically the flag. So yeah. <laughs> I'm here as a motivational speaker uh, who motivates people because of COVID. So since I used to just teach English on my YouTube channel, but um, now I motivate and teach English and I have a couple of quotes about life and everything. Okay. So. I make podcasts. I make lots of cool things. You, you, if you wanna just type Muhammad talks on YouTube and you'll find. Yes, it. yes, we will post everything that you you do uh, on our group. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> so um, today I'm here to speak about positivity, and um, along with it comes a road of very, very, very big ideas. So let's begin. Go ahead. The floor is yours. All right. So uh, before we go into positivity and immediately jump in to positivity, what is positivity generally? Positivity generally is something very, very important because positivity generally basically means you have to be a good human. Not as in a dog, but a good human as in you are positive at all times no matter what. Now, when you're a good human, which is when you be positive, you obviously have to know what is human. What, what are you? You are a human, right? So what is being a human? Well, being a human is being a creature that can go, that can basically speak, write, read. I mean, you can use your brain. You're a, cre a creature. God gave us our brain. Thank God we have a brain, unlike any animals. Most people, I'm not generalizing, but most people eat, sleep, and go do their business. If you know what I mean. But honestly, we can't be like that because we have a brain. We use what we do, and that is our brain. Okay, so since we use our brain each and every time and each and every day, the more we use it, the more we develop. We have not, you can't tell me this, we've developed from the rock ages, the ice ages, mm. to here, we, uh, humanity has been developing for years. And now you find somebody on a couch being lazy, eating some chips. That's not how it is. Development doesn't come on its own. You need to work hard. You need to do what you need to do. You need to do anything you can to work hard. You need to want to do that thing to do that thing. You can't just be like, oh, willy-nilly, I want to be a scientist. Boom, you have a degree of a scientist and everything, and you're having a great life. Nothing comes as easy as that. Hard is not a word, but it is a description for life. Hard is not a word, but it's actually a description for life. So, now, how do we become a good human, and what is a good human? A good human knows humanity. So, uh, yeah, uh, humanity is just being human, though. Actually, no. Humanity is being a good human, and that's by telling the truth. Because, uh, listen, there are circumstances where you can't tell the truth, but even after that, you just pray for God and say, May God forgive me, I did this for this reason, and it's between you and God, however you know want him to forgive you but in any other way like how are you going to be a good human how do you start if you're lazy if you don't have the strength 
that's why we want uh, that's why I chose positivity because honestly so many people so many places everywhere on earth have that lack of confidence and that lack of confidence comes from your background your background comes from your family your family gives you the energy that is negative because honestly happiness is attached to your negative relationships in life honestly negativity is la- is helping life you're not going to wait listen let me tell you one thing is that wherever you go there's always you know that wheel of history and it's never going to wait for you if you're staying on the couch it's going to leave you there and it'll be miles away in one minute that's why you have to keep developing on and on and on and on immediately how do you be positive number 1 is you need to change your mindset the way you think that's being a good human is changing your mindset is being able to make a change whenever you want to and whenever it's needed that's a good human that's humanity itself and uh yeah so make a change whenever it's needed and one of those changes is changing the way you think because your brain it doesn't know anything yet That's why you need to teach your brain everything to apply it in life. Albert Einstein wasn't like hmm, your brain, I need some help. No, the brain told him, well the subconsciousness told the consciousness. There's a whole entire theory about that, but anywho, the brain told him I need knowledge to apply things to make your life better. He wasn't like, "Yo brain, I need you to put my life and make it better. I need to be a rich billionaire." please i need i need help so what is positivity it is the fact that you are able to control yourself to control your ideas your mind and everything all right now what do you think you should do if you're negative already if you're very concentrated if you're really desperate about that positivity all you have to do is accept any change that comes to you in life like anything and there goes the algerian flag hold on wait a minute eh. this keeps on falling because i use my hands a lot and any other reason let's continue <laughs> so What do you think I should do or anybody who's desperate about having a good life should do? This I just learned this from reading a couple of books is that you have to do what will give you what you need. Honestly, I don't want to like this is my idea. In life, not everything is money, but on earth everything is money. Cuz you need money to go to the like to go get food to get nutrients to live you need money to get a good house to live you need money just for the simple thing of living we need money in our lives so you need to do something that pays you $50 an hour that 50 times 24 a day that's a lot of money honestly that's a lot of money if you can do that that will make your life better and that will show changes on your life now how can i do that This is an A B C D rule. Oh, A B C D E rule. So, number A is you concentrate on your biggest priority and you focus on your number one priority because that's something that's very important. So many people just go to the things that they find easy to do and that have no value in life. That can't give you even a little cent. Not not even a quarter, not even 25 cents. That won't give you nothing. You need to high like highly increase your level of thinking. Because some people think like I need to get money but how? They stop at that how and they don't ever look for an answer. So many people go, "Hey, okay, I got a plan. I got it." Uh, I'm dreaming. I got a goal. I got a dream. What happened to my dream? You didn't apply anything for your dream. You didn't do anything to increase your high level superiority. You didn't do anything that could change. So basically, the 
A, B, C, D, E rule is A, focusing on your number one priority, B, your secondary priority, C, things that are nice to do like hobbies and that could add a little bit of knowledge to you. D is things that you need to examine and make better. E is things that you need to completely isolate and put in a trash bag, like yeet out of the fifth balcony or wherever. Throw that importance out of your way because life already puts a lot of weight on you. If you put things that have no value on yourself, lots of them make a lot of weight. You know how we add one gram to one gram and it's two grams? That's how it happens when you add one bad idea to one bad idea that makes a bigger idea that is bad when you add one less important thing to less important to one less important thing that's not two but those two when they combine they make less important things on their own it's like a bacteria you never know it's like immediately i'm a clone myself and then that one clones itself etc so basically what you have to do is you have to accept changes and you have to have your own priorities. Now, what's the best thing to do to be positive? So, um, what do you think is like positivity? What do you think is being positive? Any suggestions? Um, I guess like um, not really creating any excuses for life and stuff. Yeah, that's one way or another is to take life's challenges head to head, head on. Exactly. You can't go around it because if you go around it, it'll look to you. It's regenerating. Somebody said having faith and never losing hope. Yeah, that's right. Um, all right. I got everybody's ideas and collectively you guys basically said never giving up, never losing hope and focusing on your dreams. That's what you guys collectively said. But what my idea is, is being positive is knowing what you're doing in life. Because the, I know positivity means always being cheerful, and always having faith. But it's also knowing what you're doing in life. If you're cheerful and having faith and smiling, life will be like a smile back. Life will get harder on you for being happy. Because you don't know the actual life and chances and etc. I don't mean life. Life is not an actual thing, okay? It can't haunt you in your dreams. In any other reasons. So, what can I do to be positive? We went from positivity to humanity to your mindset, which is your subconsciousness, to how can I be positive? Number one, you have your priorities. Number two, you be a good human. These are the two that we were speaking about. And number three is that you learn and you have to know where you are in life and have a plan. Now it's perfect. Thank you, Mohammed. Oh my God, it was a really, really amazing speech. And uh, I really loved it. Like, where do you, like, honestly, how can you come up with all these ideas? Like, of, like at once using these words and stuff? Please be honest. Okay, so honestly... I don't know. I just I start speaking. And the main reason why I think is because I read books. Um, I like to read books. And since I like to read multiple books, books at a time, I get ideas in every book, I guess, or from experiences or from research. I, the ideas are in my brain. You can ask him if he wants to speak. Uh, how can this uh, motivational speaking really impacted you as, as a kid? A 12 years kill. I mean, the main reason why I started it was to help people, not to help myself. But after that, I realized that it was, I liked motivating and I enjoyed it so much that I started doing it weekly, monthly, daily. And when I saw like so many people getting so sad because of COVID and uh, relatives dying, uh, I was like, hey, Okay, so basically what I was trying to say was, what is it that like what got me here, like why am I motivating, is because I saw COVID, just a big wave of COVID take so many people's relatives and they died and everybody was so sad. And I was like, hey, yeah. 
We've got 6,000 people. That's 6,000 out of uh, 7 billion. I mean, it's, a, uh, it's at least people. I can motivate them. Maybe they'll yeah. motivate their families. And from there, it went on. Boom, boom, and extended. Now we have 52,000 subscribers. That's nuts. Oh my god. You deserve it. You deserve it. Because like it's something unique. And I think it's the only thing. I think I have never seen such thing in Algeria before. Where people can motivate and things. It's something really unique. And you did it. You, I think you're the first one who did it. No? Actually, and I personally um, haven't seen any person there before. Here in Algeria. Don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Hope I am. <laughs> yes why not we hope so as well like and a kid you're definitely the, the only kid now this is i'm sure about <laughs> um well i want to ask you um like what change you want to see in algeria specifically and the world generally g generally sorry um so what i want to see uh change uh, in algeria is that i want to find my country my beloved country algeria the top tier country in the world and what i want to see change in um the world is that i i want the, like the world to be in peace what about like the youth in general what 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 actions do you want to see from youth like um especially youth like as for me kids, why not what do you want to like, see know. kids doing so for me Honestly, I know that there are billions and billions of youths with so many talents, but nobody exposed them. They can't expose themselves. Maybe they don't know. I think that the youths should start speaking out in any way possible. You Let me really just say that. something. Yeah, so sure. many people want to go to heaven, but none of them want to die. If you want to go to heaven... You should work for it. For it. Yeah, you could work for it. But so many people want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. Which one do you choose? Not dying or heaven? Exactly. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's a great example. Um, 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 like, um, I want to ask you something, which is the most important thing in this event and for the foundation as well. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, Mohammed, if you want to send a message to the, uh, sorry, to Algeria and the world in general, like, um, like whatever, any message, what would it be? From this platform. Okay. So, um, yeah. Listen up, Algeria. I just want to say, uh, have your positivity up. And, uh, yeah, just be positive and be the best you can be. Because there's nobody better than you except for you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mohammed. That was really uh, inspiring, very really motivational. I really, I really loved it. Actually, I have a question. Me, it's like out of the topic. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure. You could all ask questions. I'm here to help. Actually, I don't have a question, but okay. I have a big thanks for you. Like, kid, you're doing great. And I want you to keep it up. Like, God, like, I see that kid, like, I see a reflection to myself. Like, we can tell, like, I have that English hyped lifestyle. And, uh, dude, you have to keep it up. Like, don't let anything stand in your way. If you need any support, I'm here, like you can ask me personally, like I ain't gonna let you down at all. No matter no matter what it takes. <laughs> Thank you. That's so thank like so and uh, also special thanks for your parents. Like me myself, I wish I had a kid like you. Like if I had a kid, I wish it like to be like you. <laughs> Inshallah, hopefully, yeah. Why not? <laughs> we all want our kids to be like you. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is see where their passion is and make it spark. Exactly, yes, and support them. <laughs> Not just be like, uh, yes. here you go, here's dinner, now go read. Here you go, here's lunch, now go read. No, that's not the right way. We've been learn. Uh, I know that so many parents have been so strict for so many years that their kids were so shy to tell them about their passion that they would be like, should I tell my mom that I know that I draw like a Picasso or that I draw like a Leonardo da Vinci? Should I, should I tell her that? Or should I just keep it to myself? She might laugh at me and ground me. Should, should I do it? I don't know, man. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> uh, um, I, want, I, I want just to ask you something. Like, Was your mom the one who really um, like encouraged you to um, open a YouTube channel and start speaking out and stuff? Well, the reason is, like, I didn't know what YouTube channel was. I used to watch YouTube, 
uh, but she just wanted to like push me to my limit, I guess. So um, if you have any questions, guys, don't hesitate. It was yeah. public speaking. Mm -hmm. I love to publicly nice. speak out and share my ideas. It's amazing. Yeah, you're amazing. And thank you for everything. You're welcome. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for every word you say today. My question is, how can you stay motivated in all your situation? I mean, what's the thing uh, it push you, pushing you to do something and not oh. give up? What, you mean like, um, say you don't have a car and you just got a job interview at the other side of the city and you're like, oh my God, I've got this bag and it's full. Just keep in mind why you want to do it, and you'll push yourself forward. That will give you a gigantic boost of self-confidence. Somebody did that, and they walked all the way to the other to have to the other part of the city, got the job interview, and got the job. They they literally got it. Um. So yeah, thank you so much, Mohammed, for taking part in this. It was amazing, really, talking to you and listening to you, and um. It was just amazing. I, I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> you can you can you can see the feedback in here. Just want to say, motivation is a caption from yours truly, Muhammad Talks. <laughs>